I like to do some prep work with my fiber before starting the fly. This is Congo hair, which is a lot like EP fiber. I'm using natural white, caddis tan, and medium brown for this fly. Trim off roughly a pencil thickness piece of white fiber, and then another one. Take one piece and cut it in half. Then taper the ends of that piece and set it aside. Taper the ends of the other half and set it aside as well. Now cut the second piece in half. Taper the ends of one half and set it aside. Now cut the last piece in half once again and set both aside. Okay, now let's start cutting the tan fiber. We will need one long and tapered piece and six smaller pieces. Now for the brown fiber. We will need one long tapered piece and four smaller pieces. The hook I am using is Gamagatsu's SC15 in size 1 aught, and the thread is Vivas 140 denier power thread in brown. Take one of the long and tapered pieces of white fiber and tie it in on the hook right in the center of the clump with just one wrap. Then rotate the fibers around on the hook shank so it covers all sides, and then make a few wraps to lock them in place. Then pull the forward facing fibers rearward and tie those in as well. Then tie in a long and tapered piece of tan fiber on top of the white fiber in the center of the clump. And pull the forward facing fibers rearward and tie those in as well. Turn the fly upside down and tie in another long piece of white fiber on the underside of the fly. Then pull the fibers rearward and tie down so they are on the other side of the fly. Take a long and tapered piece of brown fiber and tie it in in the same way as the tan. Then tie another piece of white fiber under the fly in that V-type tie. Now tie in a shorter piece of brown fiber in the center of the clump and on top of the fly. Separate the fibers a bit to make sure they cover all sides of the fly. Then turn your fly over and make a V-tie with a short piece of white fiber. Then adjust the fiber so it's covering all sides as well. Pull back all the fibers and tie down a bit. Tie in a short piece of brown fiber on top of the fly. Then take a short piece of tan fiber and separate it a bit. Now put your fiber under the hook and tie in with a couple wraps. Pull back all the fibers and tie a thread dam in front of them so they stay angled rearward. Stroke all the fibers back so they aren't pushed out by the hook and vise. Continue these steps with the brown and tan fibers until you reach the hook eye. Don't overcrowd the eye, however you do need to get them as close as you can. Once you do reach the eye, whip finish your fly.
can use head cement or super glue. However, I like using this UV curing resin called Bone Dry. Paint it on the whip finish, making sure not to get much on the fiber. Then cure it with your light and it will hold the whip finish in place very well. Now take your bodkin or needle and pick out the fibers. Then stroke the fibers back and take your fly off the vise. We are now going to trim our fly. Start by fanning out all the fibers. Then make an angle cut from the eye on both sides. Like so. Now cut down from the body of the fly, angling towards the tail on both sides. Then continue trimming the fly with small cuts. Don't make any large cuts like the first two. Take your time on this and keep fanning out the fly or stroking it back to see the shape. You want a thicker head and taper down to the tail. You should end up with something close to this. Put your fly back on the vise to add the eyes. Trim any long or out of place fibers by the eye section to make a flat area for attaching the eyes. I am using a silver 7mm eye, but use any color or size you want. I like using this fletch tight adhesive for the eyes. Squeeze a small dot on one side of the fly and put the eye on. Trim the other side and attach the other eye on, ensuring that it's even on both sides. And now your fly is finished. As you can see, the tail moves slightly with strips. And a slow, long strip will make the fly look like it's gliding along. Hard, fast strips will give a side-to-side -side motion on the fly. This fly has a great profile and pretty good action. It's a well-proven fly for redfish and other fish that prey on mullet. I know I've caught a lot of reds in the past with this fly. They take a while to tie, but I think they're worth it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section. And don't forget to check the description section for a list of materials I used today. I would like to give a special thanks to those of you who have started supporting me. Your donations are what keep this channel alive. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.